one of the questions newcomers often ask is, well, okay, if unseen therapist is, has all this wisdom and all this knowledge and all this power, um, why doesn't she just come along and just, you know, wave her hand and wipe out all of our ailments and give us nothing but peace and, and let us be on our way and so be it, okay? Good question, good question. And the answer, the answer um, takes a little thought, but if you, if, when you get behind it, you'll, you'll understand the reason for this. Um, the, one of the things we have is free will, we have, which means the free will to believe whatever we want to believe, think whatever we want to believe, etc. That's a very loving gift given to us. We can misuse that gift, of course, and believe all kinds of things, including the belief that we are separate from one another and we need to compete with one another and, and we're not really the oneness that our, our scientists are telling us is really there. Um, so, but if unseen therapists were, to, were going to come along and say, well, okay, now look, that belief you have there, you know, about being separate, uh, that's not a good belief, you know, get rid of it. Well, I'll get rid of that one for you, okay? And this resentment you have about Aunt Susie and what she did, you know, when you were 11 years old, uh, you can't have that one, it's not good for you, so we'll get rid of that one as well, okay? And these beliefs you have about you know, money and relationships and all the other things that go on in this world and health and all of this, uh, uh, they're not very good for you either, so we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of those two. That's a very unloving thing to do. That is a thought dictator, if you'll think about it. That somebody come along and say, you can't think that, you know, et cetera. Instead, very open hand, loving, think whatever you want to think, please do. Now, if you want to communicate with me and I'm here, I would love to do it. I'm eager. I'm anxious to do this. You just have to learn to listen to me because you're listening to too much of the ego stuff. Okay. You have to learn to listen to me and I will give you answers, all of which are, you know, are, are, are beautifully designed so that nobody ever loses. Everybody wins. You don't believe I can do that because you're too involved with your ego and you're listening to your ego always wanting to be right, always wanting to you know, <laughs> uh, be, be a winner and, and be somebody and, and all this other stuff that the ego is striving to do. It just competes with everybody else erroneously. Okay. Um, so, Unseen Therapist is more than happy to show you the way, but you have to be able to communicate and ask, you know, what is really the issue? And that's, that's one reason why we say in the optimal EFT process, uh, where we're involved in the unseen therapist, it's important that we bring issues out of hiding. Uh, some of us have issues clear back to childhood um, that we've even forgotten, or there are issues we don't even want to look at, or that we have repressed, or a number of things that are metaphorically what I call under the table. They are, they are not given to unseen therapists to do something with. You hide them from her, you don't want to deal with them, she's not going to run in and say, oh shame, shame, shame on you, bring that one up, oh come on, that's bad, you know. She's not going to do that. Um, so that's where it, there's some skill comes in to communicate with the, with the unseen therapist, so that we can get some of these things out in the open, um, if, if someone is my client, for example, and, and they're talking about uh, uh, some, uh, let's say, sexual abuse when they were young, um, and one thing they don't want to talk about, and they have even forgotten, is the fact that maybe they felt at some level, maybe even erroneously, that they were seductive in the whole event. That's one of the things that caused it. They feel guilt about this abuse. They caused it, okay? Now, they may have forgotten that. They may not want to discuss that, whatever, but in conversation with that, ah, now we start to bring that up, and oh yes, 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 yes. And now that we bring it up, now it's on the table for uns in plain sight for unseen therapists to take care of it. If she has to go under the table and dig around and do all of that, she's taking away your free will. Okay, and that's, she's not going to do that. That doesn't mean she won't point out some things to you. Ah, do you remember this event with whatever, when you were age so-and-so? Do you remember that? Ah, you might want to put that on the table, okay? 
She can point things out to you. Yes, yes, yes. That's one of her big values. She can save you a lot of time being a detective work by, by doing that. But she still needs to, we still need to put these things on the table for her. Um, and that's because she will not, not, not interrupt our free will to believe, think as we choose.